Hi, uh, this is Steer Anjani. In this video, we are going to see how to install Node-RED and uh, how to create the Node-RED uh, Node dashboard. So, first uh, in the uh, web browser, you type Node-RED installation. Then, in this from this website, you can download the Node-RED from this uh, uh, line so node red can be found here so just click on this here button so first step you have to install this node.js so click on this node.js home page then you have to download this download node.js so here already i have downloaded the uh, downloaded the node.js so just you can install that node uh, this m dot msi file will come suppose if you are getting zip file don't download it so change the web browser and then if you are downloading then it will come as dot msi then right click so install this node uh, uh, v20.11.0 so you can install it after installing you can type the command prompt so in the command prompt whatever the instruction they have given just you can follow this so first for in the command prompt you just copy this and then paste it here so when you paste it you will get this v18 here it is 18 version but a 21 version it will come v21 it will come then after that you can type this instruction in the command prompt so that your node red will install so uh, so many command will be installing it will take few minutes then after that you can type here as node red after installing just type in the command prompt node red so here you will get all the instructions then uh, here you will get this ip address 127.0.0.1 colon 1880 so you have to type this um, ip address in your web browser so 127.1880 here uh, already i have constructed so now we will construct a new flow diagram before uh, constructing the dashboard you have to install uh, 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 two blocks so here uh, the uh, blocks are available in the left hand side uh, so first step what you have to do you have to install the uh, uh, node red dashboard so here click on this three line go to manage palette here install click on this install so here you check that node red dashboard so this you have to install so node red dashboard if you are typing it will come so already i have installed so what you have to do you have to you will get that install option like this so you click on this then you install this node red dashboard once you have installed then here in this here you will get this blocks dashboard block you will get it digital display graphics then button drop down everything you will get it but led you won't get that led so for led you have to know red contrib ui so led this led we have to select it so again we have to install this then again you have to go to this manage palette here install here search node red hyphen contrib then here ui then led so 
node red contrib ui led so you have to install this uh, led so that um, the dashboard uh, in the dashboard under dashboard you will get this led link also so already i have installed you if you are installing it will take few minutes then you can install this node red then that's it we can get the components so first we can connect the switch so take the switch then you can take the led and then again you can select the mqtt out because uh, we are going to uh, use the mqtt server only node red uh, it is used for uh, mqtt sending the data to the mqtt server and then we have to take this debug okay so you just keep your cursor near to this point then you can connect it like this and mqtt just hold the mouse so that the wire will be connecting to the other block so that's it so this part is over now we are going to assign which tab we have to connect it. So here, uh, when you are doing new uh, uh, properties, then we can use this as a add button will come. So I will remove everything and then we will start from basic. So we can delete all the tabs. So we will create a new one. So there is no tab here. We will start from the first part. So I am taking the switch. Okay, already I have taken. So this also I am removing. I am removing the flow two only. I am going to keep flow of one and then two. So debug we have to take. Then MQTT out. Then we have to take the LED. So when switch is on, the LED will blink. So debug. You can connect it. So switch we can connect. That's it. Very simple. So here um, we can add it. We will delete some of the portion. So whenever you are creating here, you will get the plus sign. So you have to click on that plus so that uh, new board will be added. Now we are going to, already I have created, so it is showing us add new board. So here we can take that dashboard, we can add it, tab 1, so tab 1 button, then switch, then we can here, uh, we are going to switch on and switch off only. So when on button is coming, then it uh, LED will glow. When off button is coming, then LED will off. So here you have to take this as string. So it is a string, you have to use it so that it will take the string of uh, on. And then off also you have to select the string. Then off. Then we can keep that LED message. Because in the program, we are going to use this LED message only. So we are going to take this. So switches we have taken. Then payload, here whatever it is default, we can keep it as it is. Then MQTT broker, here we have to add the broker. So here test dot, here I will write this mosquito. Um, we will test. Ah, yeah. test dot 
mosquito.org so this one we can type it test dot mosquito dot org we can add it so it will be test dot uh, mosquito dot org colon 1883 so the topic we can take it as led done okay then here led which tab we are going to use it tab 1 only we are going to use it here also we have to give that string as on but off button because red color so we are using off and then here string we are going to use on okay so that's it our uh, dashboard is ready now we can deploy the code so successfully deployed now we can get the 127 UI, UI. so here you have to use this as okay so when switch is on green color switch is off red color so this is in this way only we have to create a tab one more tab you want to create so in flow 2 we can create one more tab so that uh, we will measure the voltage or any current parameter we can take it so for that you we can create a another tab just uh, we can select the MQTT in MQTT in and then we can select the debug then we can have the voltage chart for numeric means we will get that numeric or we can take the chart also or we can take the gauge So, MQTT, we can take same topic, uh, topic, we can take it as pub topic, publish topic. So, pub topic, we can write it, done, then debug, here, whatever the code, I am going to take payload 1, so we can create payload 1, here, we can edit it, we can create a new dashboard, that is tab to update so sensor output so tab to sensor output here we can uh, compass also we can take it maximum value and then we can keep that maximum value and then unit suppose you are measuring in terms of volt we can keep that unit that's it we can deploy the code so successfully it is deployed now we can open this one so I think uh, first one also it is changed we can have that one so it has changed okay here default we can keep it whatever the name we want we can keep this one so this is now tab one now LED that is MQTT LED also tab one we will select so we will have two tab one is switch model another one is uh, tap to we are going to measure the voltage we can deploy here see here we have tab one then click this tap to we will get the sensor output so in this way only we can create the node red dashboard 
we can write the code according to 